Greetings all, the Devious Mookie here. All right, back to the good old stomping grounds. I'm back here at Great Neck Park, and I wanted to see if there was a different bird here today. I don't know how I'm gonna top the dolphins. Those were pretty popular yesterday, but I've been sitting in my office all morning since like eight o'clock, and it's 2.30 now, and I needed to, to seriously get out of there and I just wanted to get some fresh air and get up. I still have more work to do, but you, you gotta take a break or you go crazy. Now, I did not bring my tripod with the gimbal, and I also watched a number of videos on how to use that gimbal better, and I found that I was not balancing my camera properly, so I did that this morning and thought that I was gonna have a problem because I couldn't get, I couldn't get it to balance right. I'm gonna stop talking now so I can catch this bird. He just ate a big ass fish. I have been reading a number of threads in various forums and I just joined in uh, the Sony A7R forum. And of course there's a lot of talk back and forth about different lenses, different settings, things like that. And a very popular lens these days, especially for doing this kind of thing, is the Sony 200 to 600, which of course I have really been looking at and decided that I wanted to get. The other thing that I did buy, obviously, was that gimbal head. And now that I have it set up properly, which I was kind of talking about here a minute ago, I don't know if I finished it, but basically I tried to balance my camera with the Sigma 100 to 600, I mean the 100 to 400 on it, and I couldn't get it to do what it was supposed to do. So I just sort of left it and walked away from it, and I was like, man, you know, it just doesn't, the camera doesn't fit on there the right way to do what I needed to do. Maybe I need to get a longer plate, all this kind of stuff. And I just sort of forgot about it for a little bit. And then it hit me. I was trying to balance it with the lens at 100. So all the way in, knowing full well that if I come out here to do this, I'm gonna open that sucker up all the way out to 400, which then is gonna tip the camera down which is what I needed it to do. It wasn't doing that because all the weight was on the actual camera, not on the lens, the way that I had it not balanced. So I went ahead and fixed that, and now I have it perfectly balanced the way every video that I saw says that it needs to be balanced to work the way that it should. So yay, let's hear it for those internets, helping people like me figure shit out. So I did all that, and I did see somewhere in one of those threads that somebody had said, you know what, you need to learn how to do this without relying on like a gimbal or a tripod because you can get more shots hand-holding than you can trying to fight the tripod and maneuver it and get up and move your body and all that kind of stuff. And his final tidbit was, yes, these are big lenses. If you can't hold it, then you shouldn't have it. And I thought, okay, that kind of makes sense, sort of. I mean, there's a reason why there are tools like tripods with gimbal heads that, you know, I don't think that it's actually a problem using those kind of things, but I do see what he's saying about, you know, you should be able to handhold it and you can get more shots and blah, 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 and all that stuff. So yeah, I can see his argument, but I can also see the argument for having tripods and gimbal heads. Either way, I've got a tripod and a gimbal head, and it, other than me trying to carry it the other day because I was carrying too much stuff, I don't have a problem using it. I'm not an anti-tripod person. The only thing I'm gonna have to remember is that I need to bring my collapsible stool with me because that makes a difference on my old ass knees and hips when I'm sitting there bent down in the muck when I could be sitting on a stool, which is the reason I bought the damn thing. Okay, so there it looks like a, I think that's a yellow-billed egret, which I always just say, it's a yellow crane. Let me see if I can get him. He's kind of far away though. Okay, gonna have a hard time really getting a good shot of him because he's basically got the sandy shore right behind him. 
So he's kind of getting lost in that, at least as far as I can tell on my screen. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have more than enough gear uh, to have a lot of fun because obviously I'm really enjoying this whole birding thing. And just in general with this lens, this 100 to 400 and putting it into APS-C mode. So basically getting a 150 to 600 and still having the amount of megapixels that your average camera gets. I'm really having a lot of fun. Yesterday, going there and getting pictures of the dolphins, which was really difficult, but also getting pictures of the surfers. I've done that before, where I've gone there to get pictures of surfers and, and gotten complete crap. And at best, I had the 70 to 200 or, or some equivalent of that lens, but that's as big as my reach ever got. And I really didn't get anything worth even bothering to keep. But with all that surfer stuff that I got yesterday, even though I only posted one picture, because I, I didn't actually get anybody surfing, they were all basically just hovering out there, waiting for their set, so to speak. And, you know, I, I really didn't get anything good or they were always facing away from me. So, I mean, I took the one picture of the girl on the pink board because it stood out so much in the water. And that was it, but it was fun. And I was excited to see that I could get clear pictures and putting it in high burst mode, get a lot of pictures. I mean, between the dolphins and the surfers, I, I think I had 496 pictures, maybe only 10 keepers, <laughs> but at least I know I'm getting some bangers out there. This camera is just amazing. And these lenses are amazing. I'm gonna stop filming so that I can go out and see what's out here and then I'll come back. Back in the studio, just for a quick wrap up. I was obviously at Great Neck Park and I followed a yellow crested night heron who was going for food. And I actually, when I got it on the computer, I see that he actually caught a crab. I mean, it wasn't a small crab, it was a pretty big crab and basically just devoured it. <laughs> so that was kind of neat. And then there was the, the yellow billed egret or yellow horned egret, I can't remember which. Anyways, the big ass white bird with the yellow bill. And that was kind of neat too. Very different because that one stands up so tall. I just had a discussion with my neighbor when we're talking about, you know, she sees all my pictures because I post the pick a day on Facebook and all that kind of stuff. And she's like, wow, you've just like totally turned into a nature photographer. And I, the thing is, is that I think I've always been a nature photographer, I just didn't really post a lot of it. And as far as I'm concerned, everything that I do is nature. And that includes street photography. Instead of hunting birds, I'm hunting people in day-to-day -day life instead of birds eating crabs and fish. You know, it's, all of it's fascinating to me. Clearly, uh, my passion has been rekindled and you can see it. And sorry, I keep blinking and doing weird shit with my eyes. The allergies are just excruciating. I, my eyes are like super dry and itchy and everything. I probably should have went and gotten Sudafed today, but I didn't. So I'm out of Sudafed and I don't know if I want to keep taking the Flonase because I'm getting all bloody up here because I've been taking it for so long. Wah! Freaking allergies. Anyways, yeah, that's the bitch of it, is that I love to be in the outdoors, but they torture me with their pollens and dusts and whatever else. Okay, enough whining. It was a good day. The temperature has gone up considerably, and this week it's going to be in the 80s, almost 90s, although it's supposed to start raining. So since it's going to start raining, you probably won't get as many bird videos this week. I know you're disappointed, but hey, it's my passion. Deal with it. I am planning on discussing a few more things about the gear. I did the 24 to 70 review. I still have the 85 and the 100 to 400 to do reviews on. So that's coming, keep an eye out. But for now, I'm hungry and I have a shit ton of day job work to do. And I just sort of wanted to wrap this up. I appreciate it. I'm starting to get a lot of comments, you know, a lot of suggestions, a lot of encouragement, which really helps me out because sometimes it's, tough to find the motivation to do this all the time. And I'm just going to keep plugging forward. I'm going to shoot a video every day that I can until I can't. That's it. That's all I got for you today. As always, thank you for joining me. Thank you for the interaction, especially like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.